My friend Dave is adding the attachment points for a pull rope on the mobile sheep pen so I can avoid further injuring myself. More on that later. I also get the ducks to change the scenery by getting them out on pasture in a tractor. All that and more coming up on the Grass Fed Homestead. Last week my friend Dave delivered a mobile sheep pen he made for me. It was a complete game changer for me being able to move the sheep on pasture. The only problem was he hadn't added the attachment points yet where I could put on a pull rope. So I had to push the sheep pen in order to advance it through the pasture. At first it wasn't an issue but eventually the mobile sheep pen got to some super thick grass that I wanted the lambs to eat but I wasn't able to push the pen over that tall grass. I tried so hard pushing it that I actually pulled a muscle, at least I hope that's all I did, but I actually pulled a muscle in my abdominal area. And several days later, it's still rather uncomfortable. It was still a few days out before Dave was gonna be able to come over and add the attachment points, but I still needed to move the lambs. They need to be on fresh grass. So I had to get a little bit creative. I'm not keen on driving my truck on the pasture, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. The weather has finally warmed up on a consistent basis here in North Idaho, so I thought it'd be a great idea to get the ducklings out of the brooder and onto grass. I moved my recently vacant chicken tractor closer to the house and transferred the ducks. Ducks did absolutely fine overnight. They all survived and they're doing well on pasture. We reached the end of the line here. There is not enough room to keep the sheep going along this track. So we need to get the sheep cage from this side of the driveway over to back there, the other side of the driveway where there's a lot more grass for them. I recruited some muscle to come help. Let's see your muscle. Do it. No. Let's come see on. it. Come on. No. <laughs> see your muscle. Is that it? Are you flexing? Yeah. The sheep have done a pretty good job of picking this over since we moved them over here yesterday. Little Buddy and I are gonna try and move them now. There's definitely some taller grass. We're gonna have to push it through, but it's not nearly the jungle as it was over here trying to push that cage through this. Do you think we can do it? I'd give it a bet. So what'd you think, Little Buddy? Fun. Yeah, that went fine. There was not really a problem with that at all. Yeah. Since we moved the pen to a section with a little bit lower forage, I was able to actually push the pen a couple more times by myself without any issues, though it did aggravate my abdominal issue a little bit. I've received some viewer suggestions regarding moving the mobile sheep pen. Cousin Laura, hi Laura. Cousin Laura suggested, why don't you do what Justin Rhodes does and mow before you move the tractor over it, mow the grass down. Justin mows about a week or two in advance of where the mobile sheep pen's gonna go, so the grass has some regrowth time before the mobile pen gets there. I didn't do that in advance, so if I cut the grass now without any rainfall coming in, there's not gonna be any forage for them to eat. Other viewers have recommended, hey, why don't you try pulling it with your lawn tractor? I didn't think this would work, so I haven't been trying it, but since you guys keep recommending it, let's put it to the test. We're gonna try pulling the mobile sheet pen with a ratchet strap attached to the lawn mower. Is it gonna work, little buddy? Most likely. So you think it's gonna work? Yeah. All right. helping in the back, but it still didn't work out so well. 
No, that did not work out so well at all. That does not work. We made a little bit of progress, but mostly those tires there just kept spinning. And this grass isn't even that tall. This is fairly shallow grass here compared to the jungle we were trying to get it through earlier. I placed an order for a dump truck load of wood chips to be delivered so I can finally finish getting the pig tent ready and the pigs moved onto a deep litter system. The wood chips have finally arrived. That is an awesome amount of wood chips, I love it. Now with all these wood chips, I can get the pig tent finished once I get the wood chips in there. And then I can get these guys moved out of here. Are you ready to go to your new shelter? Are you looking forward to new lodging? Or do you like it in here? That is definitely not something I'm gonna do with just little buddy. We're gonna need some more help for that. But help's not gonna be available until later this week, which means That'll have to wait to the next video. Two days later, Dave came over to do the welding job so I could add the pull rope. It was great timing because I had just hit some thicker forage again on pasture and I could not push the pen anymore. Dave to the rescue. Dave is gonna get this thing fixed up where we can get a pull rope on it. How are we doing that though? So we're gonna have up some little pad eyes, either a hook or a shackle or just stick the rope through and tie it. Something like that. Success, Dave. That worked. It was a workout, but it did not aggravate my pulled strain muscle, whatever I got going on there. So we're good to go. Thank you again, Dave, for all your work on this. I'm happy to report I'm able to move the pen just fine with the rope, even through some of the thicker forage. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.